When I was eight years old, I used to sit in a cardboard box and dream I was going to the moon. In the 1960s, More than 30 we years doing. later, John oh, Harrington's dream good. became a reality. Life, so well, like almost. In 2002, Harrington didn't quite make it to the moon, but he arrived at the International Space Station. He's the first indigenous NASA astronaut to reach space. I have a chance to go out and share my story with kids that never had a role model in this position. That's not what I set out to do. When I came to NASA and they said, you're the first indigenous astronaut, I found I was in a, had an opportunity uh, to fill a role that you know, I take very seriously. Harrington shared his story with dozens of youth during a conference in Winnipeg. He spent a total of 13 days in space in 2002, where he took his tribe's flag as well as a feather gifted to him by an elder. Harrington is a member of the Chickasaw Nation in Oklahoma. Growing up, his parents pushed him to pursue a career in aviation. He didn't see many other Indigenous people in the industry. He says that's changing now, but more work needs to be done. The issue probably is, are there role models in the field of what you want to do? You start looking at the Indigenous community, there are a lot of very successful engineers and scientists and mathematicians and lawyers, you know, that do you have an opportunity to interact with those kind of people. Leilani Henderson attended the conference with a handful of her classmates. And while she dreams of a career in the arts, she says it's inspiring to see Indigenous role models. It's really cool to see that since I'm Indigenous as well. It's, um, um, it's really cool to see someone like part of my culture, like someone I can look up to or my siblings can look up to so they can know that they can also do things as well. Harrington left NASA in 2005. In 2007, he rocketed into a new career as a motivational speaker, sharing his story with youth across the continent. Part of that includes nurturing others' dreams. They recognize that, hey, that guy is no different than I am. You know, if he can achieve something like that, why can't I? You know, what did, what did, he, what did it take for him to do that and who helped him do that? You know, so if they can walk away with this feeling of empowerment as something they can accomplish, be it this or another career, that's, that's a good thing. Brittany Hobson, APTN National News, Winnipeg.